When you're visiting the Netherlands, you will quickly learn the word gratis, meaning it is for free. Wouldn't it be great if you can get spatial information for free? This is becoming increasingly possible with the growth of open access databases containing remote sensing derived data. Last year, the FAO launched such a database called VAPOR. It is created for monitoring water productivity using remote sensing derived data. Through this database, you can get information on water productivity and other parameters for any location in the African continent and the Middle East. This video will introduce you to the VAPOR database and show some of the exciting functionalities that are available. Let me demonstrate this for you on the database website, vapor.apps.feo.org. First aspect to note is that there are two different levels available and you can toggle between the two using these top two buttons. The continental level has a spatial resolution of 250 meter and is available for the whole African continent and the Middle East. The national level has a spatial resolution of 100 meter and is available for the selected countries and river basins. These tools at the bottom are the ones that you will mainly use to navigate between data layers and other functionalities. The tool called Layers is used for selecting which data layer you want to be displayed on the screen. The tool called Catalog redirects you to the catalog of data layers available, providing more information on each data layer. The icon About provides the email address to contact the database developers and gives links to some resources. The home icon redirects you to the project website, where more information on the background of the project and other project activities is provided. One powerful tool is the location tool. Here you can indicate the name of your location or geographical coordinates and put a pinpoint at the place, as demonstrated here for the Wanji Sugarcane Factory in Ethiopia. Once you found your location of interest, you can also create time series using the data layer that is displayed. This graph can be downloaded as image or data file. The last tool on the panel is the draw tool. This gives you the option for downloading a subset of the data by drawing a polygon. For this tool, it is necessary to register, which can be done at the top right under sign in. Another option for downloading data can be found in the catalog, which gives the option to download the whole data file and not a subset. Now you know all the functionalities of VAPOR. You can start exploring yourself by going to the website vapor.apps.feo.org. Good luck.